Hey, what's up everybody? I have another package coming from the Memphis, Tennessee Fulfillment Center. Yes, from the United States Mint. And what should be within this package is two of the San Francisco Proof Peace Dollars. Now you may be saying to yourself, wait a minute, I already seen you unbox two San Francisco Proof Peace Dollars. Did you buy two more. No, I did not. What I did was sent my other two proof piece dollars back to the United States Mint and I did ask for a exchange. Now, instead of an exchange, what they did and several people did comment in a few of my videos saying you did the same thing with not just your proof piece dollar, but also several other coins and you sent them back to the United States Mint asking for a exchange. But instead of an exchange, what they did is the same thing they did with me, and that is issued a refund. So I did ask for an exchange, but instead of an exchange, they gave me a refund. So what I had to do was I had to just order them all over again. So after the refund cleared my account, then I just ordered two more of the proof piece dollars that I originally ordered before. And the reason why I asked for an exchange was because I was just not happy with the previous two. I didn't like the centering. The centering was a little bit too off for me. So I did want to get two other ones. Now, it's quite possible that these ones are going to be worse than the previous ones, but we will find out about that after I open up this package. But let me know in the comment section below, have you returned or have you tried to get an exchange for anything you ordered from the United States Mint and did they actually give you an exchange or did they just give you a refund? Now, even though I did have to reorder, I did not have to pay for shipping because I still had my more than three qualifying purchases to get the free shipping. So even though this order was not off of my subscription, I did have to order two off of the product schedule, but I did not have to pay for shipping. So I was not too disappointed that I didn't get the exchange because I didn't have to pay for shipping. But it's kind of odd to me, in my opinion, that when a lot of people do ask for an exchange, they're issuing a refund versus just giving the exchange that people are asking for. But anyway, let's go ahead and open up this package and we are going to see how these coins look. And I'm hoping that they're slightly better than the previous ones, but I am taking that risk that they're going to be worse than the previous coins that I originally had. So here is the first Peace Dollar San Francisco. Now, a couple people did point out, and I do wish that these boxes, even though we are still getting the cheaper black boxes, I do wish, like other people have already suggested, and I do wish that these boxes would say proof Peace Dollars on here and not just San Francisco, but that is the one way to tell the difference between the proof box and the uncirculated box is one says Philadelphia and the other one says San Francisco but I do agree I wish it would say proof somewhere on the box but maybe that's just nitpicking I don't know so let's go ahead and take a look at these coins we don't need to look at the COA we already did that in the previous video all right so let's take a look at the Coin. We're going to take a good look at this. Is the centering, let's see if it's off center or if it's on center. Let's take a good look. This one looks to be a little bit better than my previous coin. All right, sorry about that. I wanted to grab a pair of gloves because my the heat from my hands was fogging up and spotting up the capsule and I didn't want spots on the capsule to be confused with spots on the coin. But looking at this coin, in my opinion, this looks much better than the previous coin that I sent back to the United States Mint. Um, the centering is a little bit off, but I don't think it's off as much as it was on my prior coin. But I will 
look at these, of course, better off camera than I am looking at it right now on camera. The spots or the scratches that looks like it might be on the coin, it looks like it's actually on the capsule, not on the coin. So I think that looks pretty good. So if we flip it over to the reverse, um, let's take a good look at that. If you notice anything, let me know in the comment section below. Quite often, after doing a video like this, I'll look at it again closer off video, and then I'll notice something that I didn't see on video. But if you see anything, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. But this to me looks better. If we look for if there's any sort of finning on it, if we look and see if there's any much thinner parts of the edge or the rim, I'm not really noticing anything at first glance looking at it on camera. Um, if we go around, I'm not really seeing any parts of this rim that's getting much thinner. So this one I think looks pretty good, but let me know what your thoughts are in that comment section below. All right, let's go ahead and open up the second one. I got need to take my glove off so I can get this box open. All right, I guess I got to take off both gloves so I can get this box open. So now I did notice that when I opened this one up, this was already kind of sort of popped out of this box, but not going to sweat that too much. Let's take a look at this next one. So this is the second of the two piece dollars that I sent in for exchange. And this one is looking pretty good so far. I'm not seeing any noticeable problems, scratches, or dings on the fields. And if we look at the centering, I'm going to be able to take a better look at this off camera. All right, so I wanted to take the actual capsule off of this coin because I was noticing that there was, and I'm going to try to be very careful with this now that I don't have this capsule. I have the bottom part of the capsule on, but just not the top part. And... I wanted to make sure that all the little scratches that I was seeing was actually on the capsule and not on the coin. And most of them was on the capsule, but it does look like that there is some, if you look uh, throughout the coin, through the reverse of the coin, over the reverse of the coin, you will see that there is a little few scratches. I don't want to point at them because the capsule, again, is taken apart and I don't want to you know, put even though I have a glove on, I don't want to touch any part of the surface of the coin or else you could create more problems than this coin already has. But there is some little scratches on it. Disappointing. I am going to keep this one. I'm not going to send this one back, but it is disappointing that there is some of these minor flaws, but yet it does have some of these scratches. I don't know if you can see them. Unfortunately, there is some scratches, some dings all over the reverse of this coin as well. Very disappointed to see these that are actually on the coin. Okay, so I'm going to put the capsule back together. So disappointed to see all those little scratches. I think the obverse of this coin looks pretty clean. I'm not seeing many problems it does look like this one as well is a little bit off center i'm not seeing any major finning on this coin but let me know what your thoughts are in that comment section below please don't forget to hit that like button on the video thanks everybody for watching like comment subscribe share and i'll talk to everybody on my next video thanks a lot everyone